Hey guys, it's Lucas here and we're about to crash propulsion for like 10th time this week. What we've realized though is that even though we've spammed this on social media for a long time now, we still don't know how exactly do we build an engine. So we're about to find out. Hashtag bestie. Hashtag 38. Just mix it. Mix it. Woo, woo, woo. Woo. So we are costing some uh, fuel rates. We are currently have a fuel up on fuel that we're trying to get to the exact right temperature to pour. After which we will pour the fuel into one of these jigs. Um, yes. where it will harden and we also have this uh, fantastic incubator so that we can slightly control the rate of um, cooling down so it should be a bit more gentle the management wants you to find the difference between these two pictures <laughs> they're the same picture Can you go back to where there's the most caps? I don't see. And then pause there. There. Okay. So we are doing the nozzle mix insertion for engine number 19. So we'll be assembling a full graphite nozzle, which Ernst is working on over there. You can show them Ernst, the full graphite nozzle. Um, as well as the mixer, which is our Pertinex mixer that helps swirl the fuel, and the retainer ring, which keeps the nozzle in place. And it's all going to be inserted in our big combustion chamber over there. So, should be fun, right, guys? Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Hi there, so today we are going to put the crane inside the aluminium chamber. So we're actually on the final phase of the engine assembly. After this we will do something else, that's actually making the igniter and making the pre-chamber ready and then we are ready for the engine test this Saturday. So at this moment we put the grains on each other and the grains need to be put inside the aluminium chamber. Before we do that we need to do a uh, warm up the engine aluminium chamber itself so it will expand and it will be easier to put the grain inside. making the pre-chamber, which uh, goes above the fuel rings in the engine. And uh, we are currently fitting the different layers of it because it is made up of layers of cardboard and um, cork. And we need to cut those to a very tight fit because this neat thing needs to be very, very tight. And we'll also put smoke in there, which is a uh, sort of heat sealant checked against the very big heat in the combustion chamber.
procedures. Right, uh, procedures. Um, all right. So we find the engine. 